All right, so uh, what up? It's Noah again. Right now we're gonna install some HIDs. I just got some HIDs from uh, xenonhids.com. Uh, really nice brand. They make a really, really nice kit. Um, I decided to go with the, not the slim ballast, but the actual thicker ballast, uh, 55 watt. It's supposed to put out like 5,100 lumens. These are uh, 9,003 headlights or H3s, whatever you wanna call them. Um, it's just stock headlights on my Subaru. These are really crap, super cheap, cheapest eBay uh, headlights that are in it now. With how bad I fog these, yes, I still have to sand and buff those out so they'll be a little lighter. Uh, so don't roast me too bad on that. But uh, getting these in there will help a lot because stock lumen light is like 2,400 lumens. These are gonna be like 51. So um, yeah, it'll be a lot brighter. All right, so this is the actual kit itself. I already put it together. It comes where you have the actual continuous wiring, this big long one with all the wires off of it. It comes with your relays, like these right here. It comes with your ballast, and it comes with your actual lights themselves. Obviously, you don't touch those. Um, so basically, it's really simple. It, there's a diagram to show you to put everything together. This plugs in right into your old actual headlight relay, which is down there. Um, really simple. There's two grounds off of either side and then a positive which sits right off of the positive terminal camel on your battery. So it's really simple. We just have to, it comes with zip ties, comes with screws, comes with everything that you need to mount it. Uh, it took me literally two minutes to put all together and now we're going to install it. All right, so yeah, we uh, we got everything connected. We haven't tried anything. We got our grounds, everything connected off. You can see that one, uh, we had to put it underneath, scrape it a little bit, make sure it worked. We haven't actually turned them on yet. Um, so this is kind of our test trial. We think we got everything turned on, so I guess, <laughs> I guess let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's low beams, high beams. So those are much brighter than the stock lights. The stock lights, with these being so heavily tinted right now, you they literally felt like I was driving without lights at night. Um, again, I have to sand and buff those out. They look kind of like crap right now. But uh, yeah, so that that is xenonheads.com. Uh, headlights right there, they're really nice. Those are a ton brighter than stock. Thank you. Uh, so after we got our heads in, we kind of decided that, you know, it looked kind of weird with yellow fog lights, but hid headlights. And so I had the light bars that we had for originally up on the basket and I'm ordering some more anyway. So I figured, well, while I'm waiting to order some, I might as well just rig them up as fog lights. So right now what we're doing is the original fog light right here, as you can see, used to be mounted like this one right under there. They look kind of jank, but oh well. Um, and then, so this is the fog light now. We rigged up a light bar, and as you can see, we just took the positive and negative ends. The white one is positive, the black is negative. And we poked them right into the actual wiring clip themselves and then all we have to do <coughs> is let's see if it works it should yeah keys yeah one sec. so uh that's high beams I think you got the wires backwards. We're not all the way in. All right, well, we're back. Uh, we made a really dumb thing, decision. <laughs> the fog light switch somehow got turned off, so we were flicking the lights back and forth like we couldn't understand why they weren't turning on. We thought we had a short. 
turns out we're just special. So this is what they look like now. That's high beams and so now we got a, a uh, light bar, a, a light pod as a fog light and now we just have to tuck this, tuck this behind there, zip tie it probably somewhere except for I just unplugged it by accident but yeah. So now it's gonna be pretty rad. We just have to do the other side. Uh, the original light bar was mounted on two little bolts right here. We just undid those and these light pods came with a, they came with a bolt that just slides through. And so we just actually used one of the old bolts and put it through the mount and actually just, it, it's super, super solid on there. All right, so now we got this side mounted up. All we need to do is have it wired. Noah's working on mountain, or not mountain, working on wire in this one. He's got it mounted all clean. Got it nice and tucked behind the, the front crash support. These are going to be some good little fog lights and they'll match the roof rack light bar and the HIDs. Blind everyone that's in front of us. All will be good. Alright, so after a long day, we, uh, we got our heads in, our HIDs. And while we were at it, we just kind of decided to mess around and see if we could rig up these pods. And turns out we did. Turns out they look pretty nice. Got the wires tucked nice. Really makes the car look way different than it did before. Also helps me see a lot better at night because it was pretty terrible before. Um, so yeah, that's just concluding the video. It, I mean, that's all I have for tonight, but looks pretty good. Just some easy, simple mods that can make a big difference. Uh, I did cut the bumper. The front bumper so it will fit right over this bash guard but no lower and it sits out pretty well for the other uh for the fog lights like it doesn't block them at all so it'll look pretty good once i get there that's it